The State Historical Museum of Russia is a museum of Russian history located between Red Square and Manej Square in Moscow. The museum's exhibitions range from relics of prehistoric tribes that lived in the territory of present-day Russia, to priceless artworks acquired by members of the Romanov dynasty. The total number of objects in the museum's collection numbers in the millions. The place where the museum now stands was formerly occupied by the principal medicine store, built by order of Peter the Great in the Moscow Baroque style. The museum was founded in 1872 by Ivan Zabilin, Alexei Vavarov and several other Slavophiles interested in promoting Russian history and national self-awareness. The Board of Trustees, composed of Sergei Solovyov, Vasily Klyuchevsky, Vavarov, and other leading historians, presided over the construction of the museum building. After a prolonged competition, the project was handed over to Vladimir Osipovic Sherbud, or Sherwood, 1833-97. The present structure was built based on Sherwood's Neo-Russian design between 1875 and 1881. The first 11 exhibit halls officially opened during a visit from the Tsar and his wife. Then in 1894, Tsar Alexander III became the honorary president of the museum and the following year, 1895, the museum was renamed the Tsar Alexander III Imperial Russian History Museum. Its interiors were intricately decorated in the Russian Revival style by such artists as Viktor Vasnetsov, Henrik Semiradsky, and Ivan Ivazovsky. During the Soviet period, the murals were proclaimed gaudy and were plastered over. Opened in 1883 by a group of passionate Slavic historians, the State Historical Museum is despite appearances one of the newest buildings on Red Square. The Romanovs and other noble families donated thousands of precious artifacts to the museum. Their immeasurable generosity gave rise to the museum's current 5 million strong collection. The Soviets smashed, whitewashed and mutilated the pompous interiors of the museum. The gilded eagles and lions, minutely detailed mosaics, and all other references to the glory of Imperial Russia were obliterated in favor of bleak constructivism. By 2007, all 40 exhibition halls of the State Historical Museum were restored and opened to the public. The team of Slavic historians who founded what was meant to be the greatest museum in Russia believed so fervently in their project that they were willing to take on 28 years worth of debt. Their vision, to show that intelligent life in our country did not merely begin yesterday, took decades to realize and was hindered by multiple opponents. Located right on Red Square, the museum was meant to replace what was widely considered to be a ramshackle building that housed Moscow's main pharmacy and a few lecture rooms of the Moscow University. But a few staunch locals kept the project stuck on the drawing boards till Tsar Alexander II finally gave the historians his blessing in 1872. After opening in 1883, the museum blossomed under the attention showered upon it by the imperial and noble families. Alexander III's younger brother chaired the museum and thousands of precious as well as personal items from Russia's elite households were donated to the museum. The heyday of the State Historical Museum, however, was quick to eclipse. The austerity after WW1 and then the succession of the Bolsheviks doomed it to abandonment and desecration. With a collection numbering close to 5000000 items and 15000000 historic documents, this museum which has been developing for almost 150 years has one of the finest and largest historical exhibitions in the world. Ittingly for its prestigious location in the heart of Moscow, the design of the State Historical Museum is opulent, thoroughly Russian in style and as red as can be. Its multiple towers seem to form a crown over its mammoth body and the onion-shaped arches look straight out of a Russian fairy tale. No wonder that the building itself is a UNESCO heritage site. Inside the view is even more spectacular. Each hall was deliberately styled to reflect the character of its exhibits. Replicas of the almost luminescent paintings of the Sofia Cathedral in Kiev decorate the walls of the room dedicated to the history of Kiev Rus. While the Moscow Hall, which covers Russia's imperial history, is modeled on the Monomachus cap the Russian monarchy's most ancient crown. Stepping into the State Historical Museum is as close as one can get to going back in time. Volga longboats, Scythian gold artifacts, 6th century birch bark scrolls and folk crafts paint an impressive picture of the civilized ancient Slav culture. Fossilized Siberian mammoths remind visitors of the brutal realities the first Russians had to face. A hat with an actual dead bird squatting on top of it, 
a golden cup handcrafted by its are, the personal belongings of Peter the Great, the items on display at the State Historical Museum offer a unique and intimate insight into the Romanov dynasty. Another kind of royalty that of the Soviet elite is also represented through, for example, an exhibition of Vladimir Lenin's possessions. <laughs>